is March 25th, 2014, in, uh, where are we? Rodeo, New Mexico. And I'm uh, standing here with Chris. Chris Biro. And uh, Sharona. And Sharona just flew down from uh, somewhere about, oh, maybe 100 yards away when she was summoned. And she's almost two years old yep. from Honduras originally. Central America, anyway. Yeah. yeah. I can't say for sure she's Honduras, but might, might as well, might, could be. Uh, and she's just out here flying around most of the time. Yep, all day. Doing her own thing. And Chris is interested in uh, getting thick billed parrots back into the States. He was thinking about the Chiricahua Mountains over here. And uh, has since decided that maybe the area up by Payson and Globe will uh, work better. But uh, in the meantime, he's got to get this pirate ship ready to ride so that uh, he can continue his, his source of income as a pirate exactly. and talking about parrots, yep. which is... Uh, as everybody knows, parrots and pirates have long had a symbiotic relationship. It's actually not that long. It's uh, it's actually a fairly new thing uh, uh, that comes from, uh, well, it's, it's long enough. Uh, Swiss Family Robinson, Treasure Island, right? These are classics. Uh, and they're the, they're the source of the pirate and parrot connection. Uh, previous to this, the reality is that the parrots would have been, see back when, com when, when commercial transport was done by vessels like this, uh, if you wanted to go someplace and get a parrot like this to bring back to uh, wherever you live, uh, that's an expensive venture. Okay, So the people who were very wealthy or the sailors that were involved were the only people that are going to have parrots because they were the ones there and could get them that way. And so um, when the you know Swiss Family Robinson and Treasure Island, uh, when these novels, uh, these books, kind of took that concept and applied it to pirates because it made the story more fun, that created that began the uh, whole pirate and parrot connection. You know the the way we talk like a pirate that came from Errol Flynn, okay? Because he was he was going to be this pirate, and he's like, well, how do you talk pirate? And he used his uh, native tongue, or his native accent, uh, to, to be piratey. And so today, that's the way pirates talk. And there's even a national talk like a pirate day now. Um, and that's, you know, where all this comes from is, we'll call it uh, media, I suppose. You know, it's, it's literature, liter literature. And of course, you know, now with Johnny Depp and the Pirates of the Caribbean, and Disney, that has expanded a little bit farther. The whole pirate lore is has grown uh, from where it was. Uh, but I've been being a pirate and doing this for for 25 years now, long before Johnny Depp came on the scene. But uh, anyway, you gonna take off here, Sharona? Go show them. All right, here we go. Here, give, me a, give, me a, give me a peanut. Hello. All right, here we go. Go on. As far as she's going at the moment, but...